Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. The Summit home market is cooling off from last year's record pace, but home prices are not. The average home is selling for nearly $2.1 million right now. That's a half million dollars more than this time last year, nearly a million more than two years ago. According to Summit Association of Realtors, this is the first time in history that home prices have beat $2 million in four consecutive months. A fatal trench collapse in Breckenridge could have been prevented. A Vail contractor, A4S Construction, faces $450,000 in fines and possible lawsuits for failing to train employees and install safety features like ladders. Federal inspectors say these oversights led to the death of Marlon Diaz when he was buried and crushed at a work site on Sally Barber Road last November. Your Amazon habit just got a bit more sustainable in Colorado at least. Colorado is first in the nation to adopt a statewide recycling program. The bill charges companies a fee for packaging like cardboard and plastic. Those fees go to private companies and municipal providers, just like the scrap right here in Summit. Lawmakers hope this eventually leads to free curbside recycling statewide. Colorado is one of the worst in the nation, recycling 15% of waste. This just in, weekend snow is postponing town cleanup day. Frisco, Dillon, Blue River, and Breck will reschedule for June 4th. Silverthorne is still a go, extending their cleanup day through the weekend and into next week. Also happening Saturday is the free annual recycling event at Frisco Bus Barn for textiles, electronics, and household waste like paint and fertilizers. For the first time since the Grizzly Creek Fire, Hanging Lake is reopening to hikers. Crystal 93's Tony Morrow. Hanging Lake will be open to hikers with a reservation on June 25th. Forest Service spokesman David Boyd says a newly constructed temporary trail will be ready by then. It's going to really follow um, much of what the old trail did. Um, as you get closer to the top, there were more debris flows, so there, you know, there might be a few changes there. Boyd says despite the mud flow damage, Hanging Lake is still beautiful. It got a little cloudy last year for a little bit, but it cleared right up. The Hanging Lake Reservation System will open at 10 a.m. May 23rd at visitglenwood.com. It is an iconic Colorado location, and it's definitely something people in Colorado want to do as well as nationally and internationally. I'm Tony Morrow, Crystal 93 News. Crews are rehabbing the Maid Trail to reopen as soon as next year. In sports, the Avalanche play the Blues tonight in Game 2 at 7.30 on TNT. And in local sports, brought to you by Red Mountain Autos at their new location in Breckenridge. Today on The Warm Up, Summit High head coaches are sending love to their senior leaders. We start with boys and girls soccer coach Joe Twan Daniels. I just wanted to give a big shout out to my three seniors, Olivia Snyder, Sarah Pappas, and Elizabeth Dart. We stayed competitive throughout the entire season. Um, we were able to turn our win tally from one win last year to five wins this year. Track distance coach Mike Hagan. I would like to recognize Summit senior Lucas Suddeth is now ranked in the top 20 all-time performances for Summit in all three of the 800 meter, 1600 meter, and 3200 meter runs. His focus and his work ethic have been a great inspiration for all the members of the team. Girls basketball coach Kaylee Walker-Burns. Sending a huge shout out to Emily Ketteritz. Ketz, as we call her, is one of the most coachable, amazing athletes I've ever had the pleasure of coaching. This young lady will excel at anything she puts her mind to. Boys golf coach, Ryan Scholl. I want to send a special shout out to three graduating seniors from the golf team, Ranger Stone, Zach Carlton, and Ricky Alquist. Thank you for your leadership as seniors, ushering in the next generation of Summit golfers. Congrats to all Summit Tiger seniors. Go Tigers. Congratulations to all graduating seniors on and off the field. This has been the warm-up with your Summit High Tigers, brought to you every Thursday and Friday by Alpine Lumber, Enzo's Deli and Market in Silverthorne, and I Furnish in Frisco and Kremling. In other preps news, Summit High Track and Field was at Jeffco Stadium today for day one of the 4A state meet. Summit Girls Rugby Team is on the road to Cleveland for nationals. That tournament opens Saturday. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.